Hey, welcome back. This is, uh, I guess, part three, probably. Um, kind of losing track. Uh, went to AutoZone, so again, still no money ch spent, just just labor. Um, haven't bought anything for this yet. Uh, not bought parts or anything, any, any of that stuff. So right now, the next two things I need to do is I need to uh, ream the ridge and then hone the cylinder. Okay, so you can see right there at the top, and then right here on the inside, um, you can feel it. Some of the cylinders, I don't even feel anything. Like this one, um, you can see the line right there, but you can't feel it. Um, it's there, I guess, but I don't feel it at all. So I probably could get by with not doing it. But since it's recommended, I'm going to do it anyway. i um, got a free tool from AutoZone, so what's it going to hurt? Um, just read the instructions and set it up right. So basically right now, I've got it ready to go and I'm just going to insert this and you want the top of the the top of that cutting blade to be below the ridge. Okay, I'm not sure where that left off, but um, as you can see it got got that ridge right there you can see it's a little scraper and dull but it's actually pretty smooth really you can't it looks scratched but i guess it just there's no more line where you see the line you can't feel it at all and on this this cylinder you could feel it a lot um these over here they're just i don't really feel that but it, it's rough so it's probably going to just take this uh build up and stuff off and get rid of that um so i'm going to go ahead and do it on all the rest of the cylinders here and then um, it'll be time to home. Okay, so next thing is to use that honing tool. And let me go read up on it real quick. So now we're going to try this. Um, I think I've got it set pretty good here. Um, you can adjust this thing to give it not so much tension. Um, and you want to just, you know, loosen it up a little bit so it's not just really tight on the outside edges. Um, you can, you know, loosen it up all the way where there's hardly any play in it. But uh, you want some pressure and, uh, and then it'll do the rest. And then you stick that in there. And you don't ever want to come all the way out, and you don't want to go all the way in. And you'll want to wipe it down every couple, I don't know, let's say about 30. Then wipe it down a little bit and take a look at it and see what you got. Anyway, but I'm just going to do all these cylinders and uh, make them look pretty good um, after that pass. Looks all right to me, I guess. I don't really know what I'm looking for, so I'm just doing what the instructions say. And uh, and then we'll go from there. Oh yeah, even from that angle, you can see the difference there um, between that and that. So I guess it did, did do pretty good. Um, still got some right there. I need to go again. And uh, I don't know, maybe one of those ball flex homes would be better, I'm not sure. Might be easier, but this is what AutoZone had, so I'm going to use it. Okay, I think I'm going to give it one more round for each cylinder, and then call it good. So, we will see. It's not really that hard, it's just uh, a little scary, I guess. I think that's why the ball things are better. Plus, AutoZone only had the one, uh, so I think they gave me the medium grit, not the, uh, not the 400 that is the, the the highest one they sell they actually have the stones for it but um they didn't give them to us so anyway i'm gonna do one more round i think on each cylinder and then um clean the the, the surface i'm just going 30 times somebody said that on a tu youtube thing 30 times and then clean it so that's what i'm doing book that I bought doesn't really go into this part because, you know, of course it tells you to take it to a machine shop. Um, I'm not going to spend that much money. It's either going to run or it's not going to run. 
it doesn't run, well, then we go do something else. So, you know, this is going to be, what, $500 job maybe? I think by the time I find the parts and stuff, so uh, we'll see. The next step is to clean the block off real well. Um, get that, uh, you know, get all this old deposits off and everything. And then some of these um, uh, gaskets right here. There's some still pressure washer and degreaser and stuff didn't get them off. So I gotta get all of that off everywhere. Um, still haven't taken the plugs out. So I gotta do that. And the uh, freeze plugs, I haven't popped those out yet. They're, they seemed like they were a little bit of a chore, so I was waiting to do that. It looks like I'm pretty flat already. Um, I, this is the only only thing I have is my my drywall uh, square here. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, I, as long as I don't rock it back and forth, it's pretty darn flat. It's touching all the surfaces here. Um, I don't I don't have a good set of feeler gauges. All I've got is a they all rusted together so I can't get them apart but um, it looks pretty good um, I, I'm just gonna clean it off I was trying to find one of those uh, 3m bristle pad things I don't know they're Rolex R O L O C I think is what they are um, That's what a lot of people use to clean these off because they're they're abrasive but they're not very hard um, and it cleans off pretty well so I was gonna try to find one but I went to AutoZone O'Reilly's and Harbor Freight and they don't have one so uh, it's it's pretty good so I'm probably just gonna go ahead and you know maybe maybe a scotch bright a little bit um, and and get some of it off of there and just kind of clean it up a little bit uh, I think it'll be pretty pretty flat pretty good um, there's no gasket and when you run your run your finger over some of these areas I, even though it looks um, it kind of looks like there's something going on there even though it looks like there's a groove there you can, I, I can't even feel that so um, it's probably just where the gasket was at one time and you know it didn't get burned or or you know oil and and stained basically stained in the small small little pores so yeah I'm just gonna wipe that down pretty good and then um, we should be should be ready um, right there looks like I might need to hone this one one more time um, that's pretty high up there but that's probably about at the top of where the piston will go the rings so Probably need to do him one more time, and maybe this one over here where it looks like it might need one more. Uh, the other ones look pretty good. So, other than that, uh, you know, I got the parts ordered today. I did go get a, a caliper thing and, and measured them. Uh, I'll just use uh, one of these things. These uh, that you stick down in the bore. Just use the one that's for four inches. Stick it down in, and then I use this to measure it. And then I also double checked with the small side, uh, you know, flip it over like that, and then you can measure internally um, in here. And it was still three, three eight seven something, um, three point eight seven two or something like that. So it appears, according to the stuff I read, that I'm in the range to go ahead and order the standard pistons. So that's what I'm going to get next. Get that ordered. Still need to figure out what I'm going to do with the cylinder head. Other than that. Uh, I may just leave it. I don't know. Um, that's something I'm. I got to think about. Uh, do a valve job on it or not, or just do the lower end here and um, and see if it runs. That's kind of what we're getting to. We want, want the car to run, so I can always come back and do the valves and stuff later. Um, I'll kind of read on that some more. Or if you guys get to that before I get to it, just let me know. Um, you know, if it if it messes up this half because I didn't do the valves. You know, if I can do this right now, put that back on there, get it running and then come back and do that later for if there's a power problem or loss of power and all that kind of stuff. So uh, that's what I'm thinking of doing. Anyway, all right, that's, uh, that's it for this part. So, uh, you know, leave me the comments and suggestions, uh, especially on that about doing the, the top end. Um, I don't know if I, you know, wanna, wanna tackle all of that with the, the springs and the valves and doing some kind of pokey little karate kid drum thing so anyway uh 
catch you in the next video and thanks for watching and uh, hopefully you can take on something yourself.